Okay, we're back to wrap up Falcon 2022, CrowdStrike's uh, customer event. You're watching theCUBE, my name is Dave Vellante, my co-host Dave Nicholson is on injured reserve today, so I'm solo. But I wanted to just give the audience a sense as to some of my quick takeaways. I really haven't given a ton of thought on this. We'll, we'll do a review after we check out the videos and the transcripts and do what we do at SiliconANGLE and theCUBE. Um, I'd say the first thing is, look, CrowdStrike continues to expand its footprint. And it's adding the identity module uh, through the preempt acquisition. Uh, working very closely with managed service providers, MSSPs, managed uh, security service providers. Uh, having an SMB play. So CrowdStrike has 20,000 customers. I think it could, it could 10X that you know, over some period of time. As I've said earlier, it's on a path by mid-decade to be a $5 billion company in terms of revenue. At the macro level, security is somewhat, I'd say it's less discretionary than some other investments. You know, you can, you can probably hold off buying a new storage device, you can maybe clean that up. You, you know, you might be able to hold off on some of your analytics, uh, but at the end of the day, security is not completely non-discretionary. Uh, it's competing. The CISO is competing with other budgets. Okay, so it's, while it's less discretionary, uh, it, it is still you know, not an open checkbook for the CISO. Now having said that, from CrowdStrike standpoint, it has an excellent opportunity to consolidate tools. It's one of the biggest problems in the security business. Uh, go to Optiv and check out their security taxonomy. It'll make your eyes bleed. There's so many tools and companies that are really focused on one specialization, but really what CrowdStrike can do with its 22 modules is say, hey, we can give you ROI and consolidate those. And not only is it risk reduction, it's lowering the labor cost and labor intensity so you can focus on other areas and free up the biggest problem that CISOs have, which is the lack of enough talent. Um, so a really strong business uh, value and, and, and value proposition. A lot of that is enabled by the architecture. We've talked about this. You can check out my breaking analysis that I, that I dropped uh, last weekend on CrowdStrike and you know, can it become a generational company, but it's really built on a cloud native architecture. Uh, George Kurtz and company, they shunned having an on-premise architecture, much like Snowflake, Frank Slootman has said, we're not doing a halfway house. We're going to put all our resources on a cloud native architecture. The lightweight agent uh, that allows them to add new modules uh, and, 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 and collect more data and scale out. Uh, the purpose-built threat graph and, and time series database and asset graph that they've built um, and, and very strong use of AI to not only stop known malware but stop unknown malware, identify threats, do that curation and really you know, support the SecOp teams. Product-wise, I think the big three takeaways, and there were others, but the big three for me is EDR extending into XDR. You know, X, X is the extending for, uh, 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 in, in, in really the core of, of endpoint uh, detection and response, extending that uh, further. While it seems to be a, bi a big buzzword these days, CrowdStrike I think is very focused on making a more complete, a holistic offering uh, beyond endpoint, and I think it's going to do very well in that space. They're not alone, there are others, it's a very competitive space. The second is identity. Um, through the acquisition of, of Preempt, uh, CrowdStrike building that identity module, uh, partnering with leaders like Okta to really provide that sort of treating identity, if you will, as an endpoint, uh, and then Sort of Humio is now Falcon log scale, of uh, bringing together you know, the data and the observability piece and the security piece is kind of the three big product trends that I saw. I think the last point I'll make before we wrap is the ecosystem. The ecosystem here is good. It, it reminds me, I said a number of times this week, of ServiceNow in 2013. I think the difference is uh, CrowdStrike has an SMB play. Uh, it, can, it can go after many more customers. Uh, and, and, and actually have an even broader platform, um, and I think it can accelerate its ecosystem faster than ServiceNow was able to do that. I mean, it's got to be sort of an open and collaborative sort of ecosystem. You know, ServiceNow is kind of more of a one-way street. 
Uh, and, and I think the other piece of that ecosystem that we see evolving into IOT, into the operations technology and critical infrastructure, which is so important because critical infrastructure of nations is so vulnerable. We're seeing this in the Ukraine. Security is a key component now of any warfare. And going forward, it's always going to be a key component. Nation states are going to go after trust or, or uh, secure infrastructure or critical infrastructure, try to disable that and disrupt that. So securing those operation uh, uh, assets is going to be very critical, not just the refrigerator and the coffee maker, but really going after those critical infrastructures. <laughs> Getting asked to break. And the last thing I'll say is the developer platform. We heard from Emal that the, the opportunity that's there to build out a PaaS layer, a super PaaS layer, if you will, so that developers can add value. I think if that happens, this ecosystem, which is breaking down, will explode. This is Dave Vellante wrapping up at CrowdStrike. Falcon 2022, Falcon 2022. Go to siliconangle.com for all the news. Check out thecube.net. You'll see these videos on demand and many others. Check out wikibod.com for all the research. And look for where we'll be next. Of course, reInvent is the big fall event, but there are many others in between. Thanks for watching. We're out.